Hello and welcome back to Metroid Prime. So we've just been to the Impact Crater to learn that we need to collect uh, a bunch of artifacts in order to enter the crater and uh, that uh, the Impact Crater, the stuff that impacted, you know, was um, carried with it the Great Poison that we have um, an issue that we have solved now by beating the first major boss and so we have gotten ourselves into some uh, complicated uh, stuff here a complicated mess but we're Samus this is the stuff that we do and I cannot get up here I cannot get up here that was um, I don't know, that has never happened before, so... Great! Okay, and, you know, I realized that maybe going to the Impact Crater something I should have done a little bit uh, later. Because, um, we're gonna come up here again pretty soon throughout, or, you know, taking this path again. Um, in this video, so, uh, but oh well. It is what it is. But we're back in the Magmore Caverns. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna roll up here. Ow! Stupid Magmore. You can't do that. Oh. oh no, oh no, oh no. Why is it so hard to jump out of liquid? I don't get that. Um. How did I get up here again? Oh my god. What am I going to have to do here? I guess I'm just going to have to jump into the lava. Oh well, whatever. I guess you're not supposed to go through this... Uh, this path again. Oh well, I lost a lot of energy, but that's fine. Kind of a rough start though, but uh, it'll be okay. Oh man, this takes two. So usually when I fight enemies in this game, I like to jump around a lot and like strafe and stuff. It's not always, you know, always that good, but uh, it works, so. Kill the puffers. Did I scam these guys? Yeah, I did. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought there was a, this was a missile door. Oh, well. Oh, you can't open regular blue doors with missiles? That's kind of strange. Anyway, up here we have something. I'm gonna do my strange double bomb jumping and get myself an uh, E-Tank if I can. Like that. And you have to bomb twice to destroy these, um, I don't know, boxes or whatever they are. I always kind of think of them as boxes, but... What is this? Access to Fendrana Drifts North. Ooh. That sounds interesting. And it kind of is too. It's a very nice area. Ooh, it looks kind of cold. Oh yeah, it's a snowy area. Awesome. Alright, so we just have to destroy the... Uh, the ice there with our uh, charge beam and here we are Fendrana with great music I guess this game doesn't really have too many areas but you know each area is very unique and uh, just in general very nice so you have to blow up in this crate here with um, a missile and uh, I guess I'm gonna have to 
get rid of you. Right now we can only kill those guys with missiles. And there we go, the door directly above has been unlocked. Great. It's exactly what I wanted. Um So yeah, I'm just gonna head up here. Guess we can scan these guys, I have no idea what they're called. Crystallite. Oh, just take take care of them with uh with missiles and you'll be fine. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's right. I got confused there for a second. Alright. And I just like to roll through these tunnels. There are lots of these tunnels in this game. And here we go. We have... Um, I don't know. I, I don't think there's anything we can do in here right now. There are some missile expansions in here, but we will have to get those later. Just have to uh, avoid these strange guys. Baby Shigoth. So is there a grown-up Shigoth, perhaps? Hmm. I would know. Anyway. Oh yeah, I just like to roll through here. Because they have a lot of these guys. I guess they're probably a new enemy, you know, the ice version of the ones we saw in Magma Caverns, but oh well. Right. I'm just gonna roll through here. Yeah, where do I go? Where do I go? I go this way. There we go. More tunnels. Yeah, rolling just in general is a nice way to travel, I think, in this game. So anyway, we have some Choso lore over here. So let me just take a look at it. The savior will come. Ancient weapons and armor. Awesome. The entrusted one. Entrusted one. I am the entrusted one! Yay! Okay, so we have this guy down here. I guess we can uh, try to kill him. Uh, so what you want to do is strafe behind him. Uh, and I guess we have to shoot three missiles because we're on uh, a harder difficulty. But that's what you do. You strafe, shoot three missiles, and then just um, rapid fire. And uh, you'll take care of those guys. We're gonna have to fight some more later. For now, I'm just going to do some platforming. I think these platforms um, fall down. I don't know. I'm too scared to look. So I'm just jumping. Oh, is it the morph ball again? I guess so. I guess we got another morph ball. Awesome. But no, this is the boost ball. What morph ball mode? Press and hold B to charge the ball, release, and you can boost. Okay. So that shows you... Oh, that looks kind of like a half pipe now, doesn't it? Hmm. I wonder what we could do with that. I wonder. Yeah, the boost ball is very nice. Now we can travel really fast. Uh, I'm... I don't know, I'm not too good with it. Um, th there's something a bit awkward about using it sometimes, which... Uh, you know, it took me a couple of playthroughs before I felt comfortable using the boost uh, boost ball, but... Uh, sometimes, you know, I guess it, it is the timing of when you press the B button. But you can't just, you know, tap it, like rapid... Tap it and um, it will just work. It doesn't quite work that way, unfortunately. Got like charge it up, kind of. What's going on here? Uh oh, uh oh! It's a very pixelated shadow. Ridley.
but anyway. Yeah, I don't really know what, what that's about. He just flies overhead. I, I guess, you know, I mean, he should notice Samus, but I don't know. But anyway, we're actually done with Fendrana for now. We need to head back to the Talon Overworld. So we're gonna do that. And this is the time where I said, you know, maybe now would have been a better time to go to the Impact Trader, but oh well. go through the uh, elevator sequence and we're down here again oh come on so hopefully I won't take too much damage here because I'm just gonna run ow 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 yeah these guys they can do a lot of damage really quickly so they're kind of nasty. But rather than wasting time killing them again, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna wait here. Because I don't want to fall into the lava again. So here we are. As I said, we need to get used to this. There we go, thank you. Thank you for dying. Oh, 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 get in there. <laughs> I assume if that guy grabs you, he will just throw you into the lava, so... That's not good news. And I'm just gonna do this here, right here. Oh, that didn't work very good, but it's fine. Alright. Up we go, once again. So, you know, I always try to boost through here, but it usually doesn't end up being very good, so. But that's fine. See, so, yeah, I wonder how many times I actually go through here in one playthrough. I should kill you again. Aha! Uh oh, I fell into the water again and I can't get up. That is, n it has never happened before. I wonder why. How? But anyway, as you can see now, you might be aware of this now, uh, there is a half pipe here as well. So let's use our newly acquired boost ball, try to get up there. There we go. And this will take us to a new area, kind of. All right. Ooh, we're above the ship now. Isn't that great? And there's the secret door here, with something. What is it? Ooh, has something to do with our feet. Space jump boots. Alright, we can double jump. Finally! It's so awesome to be able to double jump. I just, I love that. So now I want to head in here. Nope, I don't. I want to head in. Uh... Oh, here it is. There's a missile pack in here. So, let's grab that. And there's one more thing I want to do when I'm here now. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. Just so you get some, you know, context for the story. Yeah, we are gonna head off into this direction later in the game, but uh, I just want to go ahead here now because it's kind of 
I don't know. It is kind of um, something that has to do with the story. Anyway, see these guys kind of fly so no, they're gonna fight me. Or no, they're flying away. What were they doing? What is this? This crate appears to be the same type of container found on the Space Pirate Research Frigid. The material seeping out from the ruptured metal is highly toxic. Analysis indicates that this may be the phason compound the Space Pirate were using in their biological experiments. Huh. Interesting. So... It's phason, it's highly toxic. Um, why are they using it on this planet? Hmm. What's going on? Yeah, I um, thought I might just show that. And back down to uh, Magmor it is. Because we're actually going back to Fendrana now that we have the space jump. There's another item that we can get. That I would like to get in this video if I can. Ow. Alright, so this time I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna kill this guy. There we go. And it's back down again. Yeah, I, I love this, the double jump. I use it all the time. Such so handy. Okay. I don't know, these uh, elevator scenes, they're kind of boring, but um, just wait until we get on to Prime 2. Alright, so now we can actually jump through the fire here as well. I, I don't know why I'm doing that. I guess I'm just, I just don't want to wait. That's it. I should stop being so impatient for this, uh, for this playthrough because, you know, we're not trying to be the personal best or anything like that. I'm not trying to prove anything. So, I guess I should wait and stop taking damage all over the place. But, I'm so used to it. Um, knock on, please. As I said before, you know, sometimes there's a problem locking on. And I don't... I assume it, it has nothing to do with the original GameCube version. Because if you would have troubles locking on with that one, then... Oh my god. But uh, with uh, the trilogy version, sometimes, I don't know, locking on is kind of awkward. But it's fine. You get used to it. Ow. You just had to be in the way, stupid puffer. So here we are again, back. It's not too bad traveling around the world. It it goes fairly quickly, you know. Unlike these elevator scenes, but I guess they gotta have something to you know be able to load the game. I prefer something like that over I don't know loading screens. <clears throat> Mass Effect and Mass Effect Two. But anyway, so I'm just gonna head up here again. So now with the high jump boots, we can do some more jumping, of course. And we can jump all the way over here. This looks kind of fancy. Yeah, I'm boosting through these tunnels is pretty fun, so. Ooh. Ba 
But you can see I, I usually don't fight too many of the enemies, you know. I just run past them if I can. Um Oh. That was almost bad. And I guess I could scan these guys too. These are the ice parasite. Alright, and what we have to do here is shoot this thing with the missile, and jump up, and there's a bomb slot in here. Awesome. Look over here. And into this tunnel, where we're gonna have to do a fairly annoying puzzle. I mean, it's not difficult or anything, it's just kind of annoying. I guess we're gonna have to deal with these crates. Oh man, I have to do it again. Ooh, there's something there. I'm gonna go grab it. Uh oh, it wasn't that easy. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight these baby Shia gods. Um, you know, just use the technique I told you about. Oh. And try not to fail it like I did. Oh man. Not going good. But it's fine. I guess I should have. Um... Oh, did he take four? Really? No? No, yeah, they do. They take four missiles instead. Oh my god. Um, oh, I wanted to grab that energy. Oh well. It's fine. So yeah. There is an adult. This is... Shigoth. And what you want to do here is you want to get him or her to attack you. And shoot missiles or something. Um, for some reason sometimes, you know, shooting missiles just doesn't work. And there's something weird. I mean, you don't want to attack her um, when, when she's not attack when she has not hasn't attacked you because you see she, she gets kind of tired um, after attacking, so that's the time for you to attack. But if you do it before, then I don't know, something happens and I'm not quite sure what it is. I guess you can read about it. Um, but sometimes I just can't hit her with missiles. It's kind of strange. Okay. Yeah, this is slow. That's pretty much it. There we go. Gotcha. What is this? Ooh, it's purple. Could it be? The wave beam! Yes! I love the wave beam in this game. So, the wave beam actually homes. So, um, you know, if you're locked onto something, it will just home onto that. And that is so awesome. I love that so much. It can also open up these doors, the wave beam doors. Um, and you know, in this game, if you have if you've opened like a wave beam door, let's say, it won't revert or go back to like a a blue door. It will still be it will always be a wave beam door. So but anyway, now we can kill these guys too, like that. Which I guess I haven't really scanned them. I guess I should. Oh, dude, no, scan this guy. The pulse bamboo. But yeah, this uh, the wave beam is amazing. In this game, it's kind of slow. You can't rapid fire it, but uh, you can't rapid fire it. But uh, you know, the fact that it homes and that it's uh, it can stun enemies too. You know, kind of like they're being hit by electricity. All that just makes up for it. You know, the fact that it's kind of slow. But anyway, there's a nice save point here, so I'm going to save, and I'm going to say thanks for watching, see you on the next one, bye.